my little sidekick. Even though Man Tracker is still two kilometers behind, the prey are hearing things. The sounds of the wild are deceptive. Paranoia has set in. I guess at the beginning that really threw us for a little bit of a loop and we started running and running and running and it really got a little crazy there for a while. The stick to the plan. It could be a moose. <laughs> Let's hope. Barely three hours into the chase, Julio and Joe have bushwhacked off trail, leaving little hard evidence. Man Tracker is forced to predict their moves based on human tendencies. He's betting on the path of least resistance, the railway bed. There's two curves on the railway track that they both go left. Uh huh. And it's hard to tell whether we're at the first, first curve one or the second. We passed one already, maybe, right? Okay, so this would be the second, so we're going to head up to that ridge now. Joe and Julio leave the railway track for higher ground, jumping onto a dusty road. It's going to cost them. Finally, some ground disturbance leads Man Tracker off the railway. We'll head out back out to the road. Okay. This prey may have stepped off right here. Man Tracker spots his first real evidence. The gap between them narrows. As the prey climb a steep ridge, they are completely unaware that the posse is down below and closing in. Right there is the ridge we're looking for. Yeah. Hey, wait for me, Sundance. <laughs> it's all uphill from here, Hollywood. <laughs> Great, I had to come up to the Yukon to get a freaking nickname. Well, I'm sure you've got your share of nicknames. He kind of had this Butch Cassidy Sundance Kid remark. It just didn't lay good with me because it just felt so out of place. And I thought, you know, you're taking this too much of a joke. We got to keep moving here. Uh, we've been jumping back and forth across the sand trails. We've been leaving a little bit of false trails, going along the, the train tracks. Uh, we came up here to the ridge just to see what we can see. Well, look what we got here. No one was on our ass. And, uh, oh. Hold oh. Come on. Come on. Let's go get them. We'll catch these boneheads in no time. Son of a bitch. The prey disappear over the ridge. The slope becomes far too steep for the horses to run. Man Tracker is forced to slow down. I think I got a little too cocky, started saying that I couldn't see the Man Tracker, and when I looked down, just below the ridge, about 400 meters, there he was, staring right back up at us. Uh, Joe and I bolted as fast as we can, but Joe, you. Well, the ridge we're on. The, the pitch is steep enough, he won't be able to come up the same way we did to uh, get up here. So he's going to have to find another way up. And in the meantime, we're just going to have to boogie. We're going to have to try to make ground now when he can't climb. Let's go. Well, I didn't think they'd still be here, Chuck, but they left some good tracks. Yeah. Isn't that funny? They're not hiding their tracks now. <laughs> They're making tracks. When we saw them on the hill, they ran this way. We've got a pretty decent uh, heel imprint here. There's a very definite toe kick, which tells us they are running. They're making pretty long steps here. Yeah, they're taking long steps, and all you're basically seeing is a little bit of disturbance with a good toe kick. So they're on the run. Try not to break too many branches. This is good country, though. We went through the thick bush just to try to shake the tracker off us. We knew the horse would have a problem going through there. 